Madasami Tyagaselvi. She is from Pudukkadu Hunasgiriya in Kandy. Tyagu Selvi travelled to Saudi Arabia on the 3rd of June 2023 in search of employment to overcome the crisis of her poverty-stricken family. I went to work as a domestic worker. They treated me well for one week. They gave me good food. Two weeks later, their eldest daughter arrived. It was only after she came with her children that I had a problem. Thereafter, I only got lunch and dinner on some occasions. I was only drinking water. I don't have a husband. I left the country to get money to raise my child. Thirty-one-year-old Tiaga Selvi says she used to work as a domestic worker in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, where she faced various harassments. They only gave me one month's salary. They yet to pay me for one and a half months. On the 23rd of August, while I was working in the kitchen, Madam and Madam's daughter gave me five nails and told me to swallow them. They beat me and insisted that I swallow them. I couldn't swallow them, but they forced me to anyway. I got unbearable stomach pains and I didn't know whom to speak to. On the 26th, they broke a hair clip and asked me to swallow it. I told them I'm in pain. After going to the hospital and getting tested, the nails were there. Director of the Kandy National Hospital, Dr. Iresha Fernando, told News First that Tiaga Selvi arrived in Sri Lanka on the 13th of September and was admitted to the hospitals due to pain. On the 20th, she was admitted to the surgical ward. When she was admitted, she only complained of being assaulted. She was admitted due to stomach pain. When conducting tests, an image of two nails was found in her colon. One of them was removed after she was admitted. We have no mention of the size of the nail. It has passed through the digestive system. She had no complications when she was discharged from the hospital. She can always return to the hospital if there are any issues. The specialist had said that they could reach a conclusion after further tests. News first inquired from the Sri Lanka Bureau of Foreign Employment regarding the incident. According to Deputy General Manager and media spokesperson of the Bureau, Gamini Senarat Yapa, Tiaga Selvi had not filed a complaint with the Saudi Arabian Embassy in Sri Lanka about the hardships she had faced. She told News First that she was instructed to file a complaint. Gamini Senarat Yapa added that he would take action in this regard as soon as he receives the report of the investigation conducted by the embassy regarding the complaint made by Tiaga Selvi.